So now that I can create multi-dimensional arrays, what happens if I want to populate it on the fly? I use the exact same mentality as before. I start with my double square brackets to indicate that this has got a width and a height to it, a two-dimensional array, distance, and just like we learned with a single dimensional array, I can do my curly braces. Now what's happening here is again, this, it's good to kind of read it kind of right to left. I'm creating a collection of a collection of integers. So what this does is now that I've got this first curly brace right here, that's this guy. I'm now dealing with him right now. If I want to start building this on the fly, what happens is now I include curly braces for sort of my collection of a collection. And for our sake, if we look sort of on this table here, I would just pass these values in. So 0, 9, 8, 3, 7, 87. 7, 14, and I won't do all of them, you can skip ahead if you'd like, 375, 967, 1087. Now one thing I'm going to do is I am going to scroll just a hair over, because how do I end this? Well, I end it with a curly brace, but the big thing I want to focus in on is that I put a comma here, just like I would inside of my array, just like any normal separation of my elements, I put a comma in here to indicate that there is going to be a, another value. There's going to be another entry in here. And for my sake, I would then in turn come in and say you know, 9830214 zero, uh, two, fourteen. 2, 17, 63, 17, 23, 23, 18, 42. I'd close my curly brace, and then I would include, wrong color, I would include another comma. And I'd continue to go down until I reached the last element in my array. 87, 42, 27, 10, 87, 39, 0. Now notice I don't need to put actually a comma here. I can if I want, but I, just as a rule of thumb, don't put a comma in afterwards, only because it's sort of already in place. I, I'm saying this is the ending point, so I don't want that comma in there. Now, what this allows me to do is, again, this allows me to populate data on the fly, just like as if it was a normal, traditional, single-dimensional array. 